Swimwear. Will it DTF? Hi, I'm Jeremy, and like our mouse pad will a DTF video, I'm quite confident DTF will work great to put graphics on a swimsuit. But I do wonder how well it will hold up to the chlorine and the sun. Let's find out. But I think the best business opportunity for this is either school or club swim teams or public pools for their lifeguard uniforms. Now in pressing swimwear, you need to be really careful. This particular swimsuit is 82% nylon and 18% lycra, a combo I've not actually ever pressed before. This is 100% polyester. We know on that it's a lighter temperature, lighter pressure. I've got my heat press set to 260 and we're gonna start with these shorts. And because they're obviously smaller than the platen, I'm gonna use some pressing pillows to kind of help hold it up off the seams so we don't have any kind of weird pressing marks, especially because it's polyester. We're gonna make sure it's nice and flat and smooth. I think I want it kind of on the outside, just off the center. We don't want an overly high pressure. And because we're using that pressing pillow, I might need to reduce the pressure a little bit. Nope, that feels pretty good. Awesome. Wait 20 seconds and see what happens. Here we go. All right, Let's see what we're working with. Now with this being a product I've not used before, I am gonna kind of let it cool off a little bit. Anytime you're working with something that's unfamiliar, even if you're using a hot peel film, it's best to kind of let it cool off just a touch before you try peeling it. Oh, that's looking great. Feels off great. Like I said, I totally expected this to work. I really wonder just how it's gonna hold up. So let's do the second press. I've mentioned it in other videos. Uh, you can do it for five seconds or 20 seconds. It really doesn't make a big difference. So because I'm impatient, we're just gonna do a few seconds for that second press. All right, that looks fantastic. I mean, hopefully you can see it on camera. So I'll pop it up here by the closer camera. That looks good. Now the Lycra, this should be interesting. So first thing I noticed is we've got some seams kind of along the back here. We also have this padding. And so you really wanna remove any kind of padding or things like that. Same thing here, we're gonna use a pressing pillow just to hold it up and the seams don't push into stuff. So we're just gonna go flat like that, or as flat as we can. All right. Let's see what happens. I really do like the way this turned out, but will it survive? Chlorine and Arizona sun. As I said before, I wanna cool this off a little bit before I try to peel it. This is our V2 hot peel, but it does feel cold as well. This would be a case where I think we should cold peel. Oh yeah, that came off just great. And I don't see any pressing marks on the actual swimsuit itself. So lycra nylon, okay to press at 260. Parchment paper and a quick second press. That looks good. Check that out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, now the real test. I'm going to leave these in a pool for seven days. <laughs> And then I'm gonna leave them laid out in the Arizona sun for seven days. If you've not experienced the Arizona sun in the summer, it's brutal. They have been in the water for seven days. Special shout out to my in-laws for letting me use their pool as a test pool. All right, let's take a look. I mean, obviously, all they've done is just sat in the water, but it's chlorine -y water. It looks pretty fantastic. Check out the shorts. Also, pretty good. Well, they held up in the pool, but after seven days in the Arizona sun, we do have deterioration happening, specifically on the women's suit, as it's a little more stretchy. You can see it starts cracking as we pull on it. However, I should also point out that the color has started to fade on the suit. The part that was tied in a knot is still the original color, but the rest of it has started to fade a bit. It still looks great, it just doesn't stretch well. The shorts held up great, but the fabric isn't quite as stretchy on them. The color of the shorts did fade a little bit like the women's suit, but the transfer looks fine. So swimwear, will it DTF? Absolutely. These suits spent 168 hours in the pool and 168 hours in the brutal Arizona sun. I can confidently say that they will last a season, two, maybe even three, and will likely hold up just as well as the suit it's printed on. If you've ever wondered, will a DTF? Let us know what that item is 
and we'll test it in a future video. One last thing, we proved in this video that the Arizona sun doesn't mess around. If you're here in the summer, make sure you wear plenty of protection or you might end up as red as this swimming suit. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.